Come on, Quattro. Runs the world. Girls. Who runs the world? Girls. I think we could do a remix. Jane. Come, Mr. C. Who runs the world? The girls' fathers. That's who runs. <laughs> <laughs> Because girls say, Daddy, I won, and Daddy goes and buys. Oh, well, you know what? I had to play Beyonce, Run the World, Girls, for our lovely guest that's just left the studio, uh, Jacqueline, because she said that Beyonce is one of her inspirations. Okay. You know, Jacqueline's just sweet 18. No, you know what? She's a very, very inspiring young lady, and she, she gives me hope for our young people. And I, 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 I say amen to that, mm. because... So many times we just hear about the negative attitude about, you know, about our youngsters, mm. um, you know, claiming this, this, this and that, that, that. But really and truly, there's so many young, inspiring people like mm. Jacqueline who are making a difference, who have personal goals, who want to achieve them and are doing really good things. Yeah, I think what it is is that uh, the, the, the TV program is a bit misleading. It should be bad news at 10. <laughs> That's what they should say. Because they never say any good news on there, to be honest with very you. Very rarely, very yeah, rarely. Not, well, nothing to do with us, anyway. Uh, well, actually, the other day, um, I watched Yolanda Brown on BBC Six, Six O'Clock News. BBC Six. Sorry, I, I said that all wrong. BBC Six O'Clock News, there okay. you go, that oh, makes sense now. I was just about to say, so she was, there wasn't, she, I was going to say, she wasn't even good enough to get on BBC Three. I'm oh, sorry, the, BBC the, One, Six O'Clock News, oh, and that's... that was really good. Brenda Romanis was uh, interviewing her, Okay. but, you know, it really highlighted that there are so many youngsters, because, mm. you know, uh, Yolanda Achievement, do you know y Yolanda? Oh, yeah, 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 I know. Well, yeah, she's yeah, doing all these Yolanda. fantastic mind-blowing things mm -hmm. and she's still in her 20s yeah well she's been doing that from since she was to be honest with you i've known yolanda and her, her management team because again she comes out of the same camp with eddie caddy that's correct um, mr. Uh, t. mr t that's right black um black great. Great. and uh to be honest i saw yolanda and eddie around about oh it must have been around about seven to eight years ago and they were just as good then Wow. And they had that same kind of attitude and mentality that, you know, this is what we can do together and this is what we're going to do. And it was just really inspiring to see young people with that kind of vision and that kind of togetherness as well. So, you know, at such a young age and the fact that Yolanda is, is where she is and Eddie is where, where he is, is, is not surprising to me at all. I agree with you. And both of them and their management definitely lead from a spirit of excellence. Yeah. So I do... Uh, totally agree with what you got to say there. So, women won, run, I can't speak, won, run, well, the world. They, they, they did both, didn't they? <laughs> <laughs> it is, you know, it's Mother's, uh, Mother and Sunday coming up on Sunday. We're is, still is in it? the midst. Oh, no. What do you mean, is it? Oh, my days. Oh, my days. Oh. Which picture of Stacey can I get for that? Oh, one that one? is the oh. worst. Let me tell I'm you. Joking. Let me tell you. Never buy a woman flowers from a petrol station. No? No. Okay. Take, learn from Quadro's mistakes. Uh, is that what happened, Quad? Something like that, yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, something like that. Learn from his mistakes. What, was it cold when you had to sleep in the car? Well, garden, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And you were in the garden singing, on my gnome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, what so flowers you, do you like to buy? With uh, I'm a roses man, to be oh. honest with you. I like roses, yeah. To me, it's just, you can't say anything better than, than a rose. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's me. Your favourite colour? My favourite colour would be red. It would have to be red. For roses, that yeah. is. But um, my favourite colour in, in life, is, it used to be blue, but I'm really, really... There's something mystical about purple at the moment. Oh, it's very it? royal and majestic, mm, isn't I, it? I really do. I really do admire the, the colour purple. I love it. Talking about well, the colour... <laughs> Sorry, I'm uh, trying. No, you're right. The, the, um, the colour purple is one of my favourite And It's one of those films where they were so wrong not to give that film an award. For Are you stuff. kidding me? I'm telling you. Just for the scene where the two girls, when Danny Glover is throwing rocks... Oh, oh, and they're doing the little me and you will never. Oh, even, even me, I was like, don't cry, bro. Don't cry, bro. Bro, bro, cry, cry. And what I love about so that film, every time I watch it, I learn something new mm. in the spirit of it, yeah, you know, yeah. because there's so many different things unfolding. Yeah. And it's a fantastic, fantastic production. 
by Spielberg, uh, it's Oprah as well, isn't oh, it? Yeah, and of course, Whoopi Goldberg, and, yeah, yeah. 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 And everything. So, you know, so I liked your. Oh, may I just say, what a bling bling phone you have. Well, you know, you, you know, you, you, you've got to show these young people that, you know, if you, if you follow your dreams and you <laughs> leave the streets behind. You can get a bling bling phone. You can, you, you know what, you, you, whatever you get, it can't be taken from you. That's what it is. Yeah. I understand about young people how they, oh boy, we've got to hustle, you know, we've got to hustle, you know, because boy. But yeah, but when you do that, it's not yours. It's never yours. They'll come back and they'll take it from you. You know, you've got to have, you've got to follow your dream, your God-given dream and your God-given talent. And yes. Then when you achieve that, it can't get, it can't get taken away from you. Yes, very true. And uh, speaking of God-given talents, we have a wonderful designer waiting to come in the studio okay. next. And he definitely has a fantastic um, just knack of designing women and men's clothes. So that 